distributing Wi-Fi in a house, well, it's a challenge, as we all know, and a lot of retailers know. Donna, you talked about the importance of using the wires that are in a house as a backbone. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, and we'll have a conversation. Oh, great. Um, uh, my name is Donna Say. We're, I'm the president of the Home Grid Forum. And Jirai Chen, which we like to call Gigabit Home Networking, helps using existing wires in your home like Powerline or Coax and proliferate not only Wi-Fi and extend that coverage, but keep, keep it and maintain it at a high throughput. One of the things that you touched upon is this whole idea of it, it actually is built into the power cord, right? So for consumer, it's very easy. Oh yes, yes. We actually just recently launched with Aris in retail the last couple months and they actually built our technology into a router and a gateway. So now that you can buy broadband services from your internet provider and actually get this router and gateway built into the router itself. So from a power line standpoint, you're going to have to plug that router anyways into a power cord. Might as well light up that power cord with home networking. And now on the other end, you can now get a wireless extender which you have to plug in anyways for power, that actually has Powerline GDHN technology in it, and it's helped proliferating your Wi-Fi in a more reliable and higher speed way versus having it in any other method. And one of the nice things is the interoperability, right? Yes, yes, that, the interoperability is key, and that's what Home Grid Forum likes to promote and tout. Not only do we provide interoperability, uh, interoperability among system vendors and silicon providers, we also guarantee minimum throughputs and speeds, which is key for and essential to maintain a consumer you know, experience. Well, and one of the things I think you touched upon is this whole idea of retailers and the challenges they've had in the past with people returning things. Oh yes, uh, one of the, uh, the key metrics that um, retailers have uh, told us now that launching this technology over the last year is that our return rates are astonishingly lower. Well, one of the key factors for that, uh, specifically to a power line methodology for Jidai Chen, is our neighbor protection. So for example, apartment complexes or MDUs, um, all are in the same kind of power network grid. The legacy power line technology didn't have this neighbor protection. So from a return rate standpoint, if your neighbor buys the same technology, it's kind of getting exponentially worse. So your throughput and your performance start going down. With our technology, with Jirai Chen, in, uh, over Powerline, we have a neighbor protection where if your neighbor buys the same technology, it still maintains its integrity within its own network. So it actually does a little bit of spectrum uh, management? Exactly, exactly. It actually doesn't actually bleed e in, into each other from a spectrum standpoint. It actually sees each other and it doesn't, and instead of trying to attack each other, <laughs> it's uh, shaking hands and it's nicely saying, you're over there, I'm over here, and we're not going to uh, you know, uh, interrupt each other. Well, and while we're on the topic of apartments and shared power grid type things, uh, you mentioned there's some encryption. Ah, yes. Uh, one of the key things for uh, Jirai Chen is we have a thing called Perlink encryption. Uh, we, uh, like everyone in the industry, we actually uh, support AES-128 encryption, but the key to our security methodology is that we have um, each uh, node is contained within itself. So, for example, in a Wi-Fi network or even the legacy Powerline or legacy uh, coax, once you hit, let's say, one node or one adapter, then your whole network is compromised because it's all kind of linked in your same in-home network. With our technology, if you have one, if you hit one adapter, one node, it stays and maintains within that one network adapter, where it doesn't touch your other parts of the network from a security standpoint. From an access standpoint, um, does that mean actually having to have different uh, access point uh, security codes to get in there? It's all built into the standard. It is completely seamless. It's already inherently there. You, you, the user doesn't even see anything or do nothing. It's actually uh, down into the layer two, if you want to talk OSI models, it's, it's down into the physical layer where it's already inherently in the standard. So from the consumer perspective, it looks like they have one big Wi-Fi network when in fact Exactly. One big Wi-Fi network that is inherently secured within itself. They don't have to worry about, you know, the, I, I like to, the analogy I like to use is the, it's, it's a secured chip credit card. <laughs> you no longer have to you know, fear the, uh, you know, the crazy of someone trying to get your ID number or your credit card number and swipe it out. So it's now its own little secured credit card for each node. And so since we're talking about the power line aspect, what about challenges in the past where you go to your circuit breaker and you have to hop different lines? So one of the key uh, things for, I like to call it the new power line of Jirai HN, is that we don't have the issues of legacy power line with working through panels, working through AFCI outlets, or even noise. We actually handle noise. That's actually one of the key things that we like to do. 
Excellent. So it's a new day for uh, uh, for Powerline. It sounds like yes, exactly. We're, we're giving uh, Powerline new life. I like to I like to compare it to a Tesla. You know, just because you had an Edsel in a past life, we like to call ourselves the Tesla of Powerline. Uh, we, we, we we're still a car, but we ha we run better, more efficient, and we have a higher performance. Excellent. Well, uh, Donna, always nice seeing you. Nice Thank seeing you. you. Thank you so much.